read it. I assume you've all seen The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> or you're familiar with the story, at least? A timeless classic? And hard to fathom that it was released 80 years ago. I read this morning, it's coming back out in theaters this week, too, which is pretty cool. Yet with all of our varied ages here, it's likely we've all seen the movie, watched it more than once, and one of the most quotable movie lines of all time come from that. There's no place like... Thank you. In all those years and however many times you've watched the movie, though, have you ever thought about how the story relates to us? Let's think about this for a moment. Put a church spin on it, no pun intended. Hey. (laughs) The movie starts out with a tornado that seemingly comes out of nowhere, or at least with little warning. Can anyone relate to a storm that came in and spun their life round and round at one point or another? This particular storm was so strong that it picked up Dorothy's house in Kansas and dropped it in the land of Oz. Storms have a way of doing that, though. One second, you're in a familiar territory. And the next moment, everything can be turned upside down or spun round and round for the sake of this example. And from the moment she landed, Dorothy, all, all, all Dorothy wanted was to find her way back home. Dorothy represents all of us and our souls seeking and searching. Everyone she met along the way kept telling her to follow the yellow brick road to get to the Emerald City where she'll meet the wizard to help her find her way home. This is symbolic of the people that we encounter in our lives, showing us the way and how we can be disciples in the same way to other people, guiding them along this winding yellow brick road of life, all trying to stay on the right path. In this story, though, the first friend she meets in her journey is the scarecrow who claims he hasn't got a brain. He joins Dorothy in her quest because surely the wizard will help with that. Next, they meet the tin man who claims to be hollow inside, no heart at all. Surely the wizard can help with that, too. And lastly, they meet the cowardly lion. No doubt the wizard will help him find his strength, so off they go. Many highs and lows on this journey, though. At some points, it's bright and beautiful, and at other times, it's quite dark and scary. So dark and scary at times. Cue the wicked witch. Wicked things come at all stages of all of our journeys, trying to steer us off course, but they all stick together, and and they persisted, and even when they got tired and the road seemed long, they kept going. And then there it is, the Emerald City in all of its glory, so big and shiny and seemingly glorious, holding the key to all of their problems. Once you reach the end goal, everything will be solved, right? Does anyone remember what happened when they got there, though? They learn that the wizard is just a man, human in flesh, no power at all, and the Emerald City might have looked better from afar. What's your Emerald City? A bigger house, nicer car, a new job. The Emerald City is a reminder that what we think we might need to fill a void in our lives keeps us still feeling a bit empty. So now they're all in the Emerald City, and that's when they learn that they had what they were seeking all along, but they weren't really looking in the right place. Glinda, the good witch, enlightens them. Maybe Glinda can represent the good word itself or someone who delivers it. It's in making it through the journey that they all learn that what they were made of, they had within themselves, but they had to learn it for themselves. God's funny like that. He shows us a glimpse at the beginning of the journey, tarry on this winding path, fending off all kinds of wicked along the way, just to learn that God was with us all along. And we had everything we thought we needed all along. God is with us wherever we go, no matter where we go on our path, because God is home. I'll leave you with this. Love like the Tin Man, Dorothy, the Lion, and the Scarecrow. Learn to love God and love each other. Or as you're more familiar with, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.